Hey Toronto, it's Brooke Out with Throw City and today we're at Strange Love Cafe's newest location. Strange Love is a mood enhancing cafe and today we're going to be chatting with Dr. James Yoon, the naturopathic doctor in charge of Strange Love's mushroom infused concoctions. My role here is more so uh, their uh, formulator and med medical educator for these booster shots that we've uh, created here. And so these booster shots are essentially things that you can add to your coffee or teas as a way to just basically help uh, support your uh, stressful lifestyle and, and give you a little bit more of a essentially boost throughout the day. First off, we're not using uh, psychedelic mm -hmm. mushrooms. These are more so known as uh, functional mm -hmm. mushrooms. These are things that have been used uh, traditionally uh, for hundreds if not thousands of years in traditional herbal medicine as well as uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because mushrooms are particularly rich in a lot of different mm -hmm. nutrients and, uh, and antioxidants. And mushrooms are typically known, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, are known as adaptogens. Mm -hmm. And what adaptogens do is they help your body adapt or be more resilient to stress. And they essentially do this by helping bring down uh, your stress hormone like cortisol. Mm -hmm. So like when it comes to energy drinks, similar to like coffee is that it just has a strong stimulation effect on the body. And, and maybe in short periods, that's okay. But if you're drinking coffee throughout the day, then that can kind of put your body into a, a state of exhaustion in the long run. And that's where people with, you know, coffee drinkers, they need their cup of coffee they, they, to kind of keep them going. Now, with these aspects, not only do you have a bit more of that uh, energizing effect, but because these mushrooms are, are also like rich in antioxidants and, and other nutrients and vitamins, you're also giving a bit of a, a functional support to your body as well. Just like any sort of thing that's used for your health, maybe too much of something might not be necessarily good for you. Uh, and in this case, uh, we typically recommend uh, limiting your booster shots about, to about two to three per day. If you are looking for a bit of a, a pick-me-up, yeah. the more popular ones are the, the Brain Boost and the Energy Boost. Uh, these are our, our best-selling ones. The Stress Reset is one where maybe people will use uh, as a standalone or maybe with like a green tea to have a bit more of a relaxing effect on the body. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, uh, as well sometimes people will do a combination of a brain boost and an energy boost together. So I went with the matcha latte with an added brain boost and it tastes great, just like a regular matcha latte. I'll let you guys know how the effects are making me feel in about an hour. Dr. James Yoon let us know that it does take about 30 minutes to kick in, so I'll see you then. So I just got back home and I finished my coffee about 20 to 30 minutes ago on the walk back over and I'm definitely feeling very energized and very awake. I would compare it to drinking two cups of black coffee, but I'm not feeling anxious or jittery so far. I'll check back in with you guys at 12.30. It's 12.30 and I'm definitely still feeling the effects. I feel super awake and I'm not feeling my energy fade out at all yet. So let's check back in at 1.30 and see how I'm doing. It is 1.30 and I'm not feeling tired at all. Usually after I have my lunch, I start to feel a little bit sluggish during my work day, but today I'm just feeling super energized. I do feel like the effects are slowly starting to wean though because my brain doesn't feel as hyped up as it did this morning, but I'll check in with you guys later. It's 3 p.m. and I'm headed to Strange Love on Spadina to grab my midday coffee and try out Dr. Yoon's second suggestion. So I just grabbed an ice latte with an energy boost shot and now I'm headed home to finish my work day. This latte definitely tastes great. And once again, I can't taste anything mushroomy. So it's been about 45 minutes since I started sipping on my energy booster coffee. And I would definitely say that this one feels more like a calm, slow burn. I felt really alert after my brain booster, whereas this one, I'm just feeling very present and very awake. I'll check in with you guys at the end of my day. So I just finished up my work day and I have to say, I really did notice a difference in my energy and mood. The Brain Booster and my matcha latte definitely gave me a kick in the right direction this morning and made me feel super focused and alert. It felt like an insane caffeine rush, but without the jitters. My afternoon iced coffee with an energy booster really woke me up in a calm and mellow way. And if I were to grab another mood enhancing drink from Strange Love, it would definitely be this one. I did find the Brain Booster to be a little bit intense and while I never felt nervous or jittery, I was just really hyper focused. All in all, I'd have to say, I'm a believer when it comes to Strange Love's mood enhancers. I really didn't think it would have that different of an impact on me than coffee, but I honestly found it to be much more effective. However, mood boosts are an extra $2.50 on your regular coffee, and for that reason, I don't think I would reach for it every day, but after a late night or a special occasion or just a really busy work day, I would definitely recommend it. For our City, I'm Brooke Houghton.